Hello, everyone. It's me, your teacher, a bird. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Mr. Land. I'm not a bird at all. Hi, everybody. I miss you. I love you. I hope you are well. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are safe. Um, I'm making a video today to show you how to participate in all the assignments for our class this week. Okay, so here we go. This is how we do everything we need to do this week. This video I know is a little bit long. Um, it won't be this long every week, but I want to give you a step-by-step -step of how to complete every part of this process. So first, here I am in Google Classroom, and here I am in our class. Remember, the first page you go to in our class is this stream page. I think that page is confusing. Go to classwork. Classwork is the easier page to look at. And now, very important, remember, I can see these weekly calendars. Uh, my calendars tell me all the work I must do every week. So this is the first thing you should check when you go to your Google Classroom. So here we are, week two calendar. These are the correct dates. I'll click on this and I will go see this document. The document says everything I need to do this week. It also has the due dates. So, cuando debes entregar la tarea? Okay, so notice that the first assignment here actually is watch this video on how to complete this week's assignments. That's this video. Good job. You are doing assignment number one. Okay, but assignment number two takes a little bit more time. Assignment number two is first read the next chapter in American Born Chinese. So maybe this will take you a little time. Then answer the questions, okay? Here are the questions. I can read them. Um, I have two options to answer them. I could type them or write them. Uh, I will show you in a moment how to answer this uh, and how to submit your answers. Here is how we um, attach or upload that homework on the phone. So. Um, here is me doing it on my phone. First I have to go to the app. There it is, Google Classroom. Next, I have to, um, choose the class. So, HCHS Wolves is where I have that homework. I choose the assignment. And now this is important, I go to your work and add attachment. This is where I decide what work to attach. So if I finished the homework in a Google Doc, I could attach that file. If I want to make a new Google Doc, I can. Or if I have a photo I want to attach, I can pick photo uh, and upload that. So maybe I wrote my homework on paper and took a photo. I did that. So I'm going to attach the photo of my homework. And it'll take a minute here. It's uploading. I have to wait patiently. When that's done, you'll see the name pop up at the top. So there it is, the name popped up, I finished. Then I'll just select turn in and it's all done. So now I'll show you how to do it on the computer. So here's my Google Classroom page with all the classes I'm in. Again, I choose the class where I have homework. Um, maybe I'll go to assignments, I'll choose the assignment I want to turn in. And it's really the same thing now. I go to your work, it's in a different place here add or create and then I have those same options so a link if I uh, sorry actually a file is if I already finished a Google Doc um, I can make a new Google Doc or maybe I took a photo and it's on my computer now I can attach that file here as well it'll be the same as the phone then it'll take a minute to upload and um, when it's finished you'll just need to make sure you click turn in and that's it it's pretty simple after you finish that, let's look at this weekly calendar again. I see I must finish reading and writing my answers by Wednesday. Okay, so debes entregar las respuestas uh, antes de la medianoche en miércoles. 
Okay, so that's really important. Um, I have lots of time to do that. I have two days. Tuesday, we have office hours. Si prefieres. Uh, discutir clase conmigo en horas de oficina. Please come. Um, then Wednesday, okay, so debes entregar la tarea uh, antes de la medianoche. And we have a new assignment. So here, uh, participate in our online discussion. Okay, here is information about the discussion, like the rules. You can read this document yourself, um, but I have it here as well. So uh, aquí es información sobre qué necesitas hacer uh, para obtener um, 100% en la tarea de discusiones. Okay, so here are examples. You can read this on your own. Um, but, there we go. Um, notice that this is due on Friday. Okay, so debes entregar... Uh, tu respuesta a la pregunta de discusión antes de la medianoche en viernes. But there's one more assignment. Um, you must also reply to another student. Okay, so debes responder a la respuesta de otro estudiante también. Okay, so you must answer with your answer before Friday before midnight Friday. You must respond to another student before midnight on Monday. Okay, so debes responder a la pregunta antes de la medianoche en el viernes. Pero debes responder a la respuesta de otro estudiante debes la medianoche en el lunes. Okay, so be sure you do two parts. Is dos partes. Um, and I have another video that explains how do you participate in the discussion. Okay, so here's how I participate in a discussion on Google Classroom. Uh, this is a practice class I made just to show you an example. So, of course, I'll go to Classworks and find the assignment. Uh, the discussion assignments will always say, like, discussion question in the title. Uh, I'll click on that, and I'll view the question. Okay, so the question is, what is your favorite book and why? Uh, one important thing, don't forget to look at the, uh, the rules, the requirements. They're down here. It says, your answer must include two or more complete sentences. Each sentence must begin with a capital letter and end with a period. Okay, and you must reply to at least one other student's answer. Your reply must include one or more English discussion phrase. Okay, so I have like two parts for this. Uh, there's one more really important thing here. Where do I answer? There's like three places. Do not answer here. Class comments? No. Private comments? No. You answer up here. Yes, yes, where it says your answer. That's the place. Please do not write in comments, only in your answer. Okay, so I'm going to start with my answer. The question is, what is my favorite book? Um, let's see. I have many favorite books. My favorite book is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter because I love fantasy stories with magic. Okay, let me check my answer now. I see capital letter, period, capital letter, period. Okay, that's good. And let's see, two or more. Okay, I have two sentences. I could say a little more if I want. I also love dragons, and there are dragons in Harry Potter. Yay! Okay, now I know I'm finished. I feel confident. I'll press that turn in, and now it's finished. But in the directions it says, you must reply to at least one other student's answer. So I only finished part one. I need to finish part two now. I'm going to click here. It says, see classmate answers.
Now I see another student with the same name as me, funny. Another student also replied already. Um, oh, up here. My favorite book is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I love this book because it is a beautiful story with really good writing. So I know I need to reply to another student. I will press reply. And I know my reply must contain an English discussion phrase. Maybe I need to go back and check the English discussion phrases again. Maybe I forgot. Let's see. I think I'll say, mm, can you say more about why this book is beautiful? What is the story about? So remember, in our English discussion phrases, I have can you say more about that, right? So I included an English discussion phrase and I have two complete sentences. They have capital letters, they have punctuation at the end. I think I'm good, I'm going to hit post. Now I can reply to more than one other student, but I must reply, it is mandatory that I reply to at least one other student. And of course, if a student replies to you, you can also reply to them. You can have a little conversation, but try to follow the rules, follow the guidelines for the discussion, and make sure your discussion is relevant. It's about the topic, about the question or the book, whatever we're discussing. So this is the work for this week. Really, you have um, kind of four different tasks. Task one, watch this video. Good job. You're almost finished. Task two, read American Born Chinese and answer the questions. Turn them in. Task three, answer the discussion question. And task four, respond to another student's answer to the discussion question. Don't forget to use your discussion English. And that's it. That is this week. Every week will be kind of similar. We will have some different tasks, but this is a normal week now. Okay, that's everything. I hope you understand what you need to do. Okay, that's kind of hard. All right, that's everything. Um, I hope it is clear. I hope you understand what you need to do this week. Um, if you have questions, you can send me a text message. You can email me. You can come to our online office hours on Tuesday and ask me the question. So if you have many options, please ask for help so you can turn in all your work and get 100% this first week. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I miss you. Be safe, be well, and good luck. Say bye, Hattie. Bye, students. Bye, students.